Hey friends, so it's about 9.30 Central Standard Time, USA. Today, I got the mowing uh, shower head and the wa water uh, handle. Well, I'm tired. That installed and the cedar planks installed there. So continue with the plumbing. Oh, and I think I am done for the day, so I'm doing all the water hose connections. Those two going up to the shower. Water supply line on the very bottom, blue there. Running PEX fitting, brass fitting, elbows uh, at the corner over there, making the round. Got to fasten with uh, uh, retention clips with stainless steel screws. So let me show you. All right, EcoSmart on-demand hot water heater there. I got to put a 30 amp. That's got to be connected to a 30 amp breaker. So I got to uh, figure that one out. Call water line from the water pump. I got to make that connection. I got to get some uh, brass PEX fitting, uh, half inch to uh, the PEX tubing right there I'll do the connection another elbow cold water uh, coming from the water pump it'll split right there at the T then go down and off to the shower on the very bottom I got to do a connection ran the blue f indicating cold put an elbow there run it straight up again the fittings that came with this pump is meant for like those opaque, clear type of uh, soft tubing, not for pecs. I can't get the pecs on there. So I gotta get the brass fitting, uh, screw that on, on the end there, onto both of them. And we get water after the electrical connection, of course. So I am tired, yeah. So the brand I bought off uh, Amazon is Young Tree. The instructions suck. It really does. Yeah. They don't have technical writers, obviously, because it sucks. Anyhow, that's not rocket science. On the very bottom there, you see on the right corner, red and black, that's the electrical connection. So I'll run a switch, single switch, coming from the... Uh, 12 volt distribution uh, panel to the switch from the switch to that pump there but supposedly this pump only pumps when you open up a water valve and senses uh, wanting water but I'm gonna put it on a switch thing about PEX it's uh, relatively easy to use you just gotta learn how to use it but uh, there is an initial investment and it may be a little more cost as far as all the brass fittings and the crimps and so forth but you gotta make an initial investment investment on crimp like this okay you gotta have a sp specific cutter to cut a st straight 90 uh, on the pex tube if you have a little angle you'll be off and crimping and all the different type of uh, fittings and so forth I'm using stainless steel crimp there I tried to use all stainless steel in many applications because it will not corrode it will not corrode so my counter uh, uh, really gotta make the time to raise the crowd sink up about three quarter of an inch so I could move the AC over give me more room down there i'll probably put the batteries uh after much thought originally i thought i was gonna put the water pump over there near the electrical distribution and that didn't make sense for potential leaks and so forth so i decided to move my water connections over there it regardless if it springs a leak it's gonna spray all over that that's why i'm gonna put a switch only um switch it on when there's a water need 
okay? Yeah, because if it uh, develops a leak, it's gonna sense like it needs more water. Of course, it's not gonna pump water forever because there's limited water supply in an RV. Not like a house where water comes from your municipality and keeps on pumping and pumping and pumping. So, nevertheless, that's very expensive electrical distribution panel there, the brainchild, and I do not want to damage it, so I'll take all caution as possible, and I may even put a divider wall, maybe, just to separate it a little, like a barrier. Yeah, it can't cover all that up. That needs air because that's going to generate heat. It's got fans. Uh, luckily, I got the AC on this side, which is going to blow cold air in this here. And when I put the wall up on here of the cabinet, I will drill holes for vents. I'll have, I believe, four vents that I'll drill four inch holes to vent out. So it'll be pretty cool. And I got another reveal, something I'm going to do with this, which is going to be cool because I just don't want to do a damn uh, door cabinet pull handle because uh, space, got to think about space, how best to utilize it. And any type of shelving with cabinet opening it up, that really doesn't make sense to me. That right there, I got to finish up putting two electrical junction boxes up there. I'll need to put two junction boxes over here, all connected below down there to a GFCI. So it'll be down there, just regular outlets up on top, long as it's uh, tied into a GFCI, which is fine. Those uh, don't really have to worry about connecting to GFCI. So it'll be cool. All right, I'm tired. Cheers, everybody. Please give a thumbs up to my videos and uh, subscribe to my channel. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're doing a cargo trailer conversion or van conversion and uh, use some of my ideas if it seems right to you. Because uh, I watch a lot of YouTube videos and I like some ideas and many I didn't like. Not at all. But uh, this I love. This is my uh, Shoei helmet store shelf. That's all it is. It uses a lot of space, but it's for my helmets. I got five helmets. Actually, I got six helmets, but uh, what, four or five, five Shoeys and one Indian helmet, which is freaking worthless crap. To me, it is, but some people may like it. I, I really like Shoei, and I come to know Shoei from a, a Marine buddy. He had a showy and I tried it and it was nice. So I'm showy. So I got to say uh, thanks to Dustin. All right. What a mess right now. That's a mess, but it's getting there. A lot of things accomplished. I think in a relatively short period of time. All right. I can't wait to plug in the... Uh, Solar panels, it's gonna be awesome. Off grid right now, battery operated lamp, DeWalt battery operated lamp. Although I do have shore power right there plugged in to my house, which makes sense for now. Cheers, everybody.